Open up! Did somebody order a doctor? <laughs> So if you guys couldn't tell, I am not a medical school doctor, but that changes today. We are going to doctor school. And by doctor school, I mean, we're going to be passing as many levels as possible in the master doctor 3D. Our first patient has been attacked by a wild rabid porcupine. It doesn't matter that he's rabid because he didn't actually get bit. He just got quilled by a bunch of quills. So we're going to remove the quills using my vacuum 9,000. And then we're going to put on this, uh, this awesome mustache spray that I used to shave my mustache in the morning, but it also works to cure every single disease ever. And then we're going to put a giant band-aid over his arm and boom, there we go. We passed a level one master doctor school. This girl, I think has maybe something wrong with her. Yeah, she has um boogers in her throat. I think it might be, I think it might be kryptonite. All right. So we're going to use this laser tool to laser them out of her tonsils. There we go. We're going to zap that one. Zap, zap this one, that one, and that one. There we go. Look at that. She can sing again. I'm a genius. All right. This woman has a bunch of music discs st stuck inside of her body. And I also think that um, that it's uh, it's actually break time. If you guys have not already left a like on today's video, what are you doing? I'm going to remove your tonsils if you don't leave a like. That was aggressive. I'm sorry. All right. We're going to grab that. Okay. We're going to connect that to that music disc. Connect this color to that music disc. Connect this color to that music disc. Blue color disc to the blue color disc. And then the green colored one to the green colored one. And now we're going to tap so that we can see how fast we can make her move. And then we'll be able to measure her heart rate. This is essential when learning how to become a doctor. Okay, this next guy I think was on a construction site and accidentally stepped on a rusty nail. It's, it looks bad. I'm not going to lie, dude. I think you maybe will die today. That is if I can't pull this out. Okay, we're just going to take it nice and slow. Nice and slow. All right, just pull it. Oh my gosh, that is disgusting. What do I do now? Okay, we're just going to rub it around. Rub it around town. Rub that Neosporin in, and then we're gonna plop a Band-Aid on it. Because everybody knows, Band-Aids fix everything. Especially two Band-Aids. If one won't do it, use two Band-Aids. Oh no, the doctor fell. What is all- is that blood? Oh my gosh, dude. What did he just fall in? What kind of- uh, he fell in- in the- uh, a new disease. Dude, wash your hands. Wash your arms. Take a shower. This dude should probably go back home. Oh, he's put on gloves. This is a lot more difficult than it looks. I just did it literally two minutes ago. And trust me, guys, it's hard. All right, let's see what happens here. So what did this guy do? He looks in tremendous amounts of pain. We're going to need to remove all of his different metal materials before we send him into the MRI. I don't know why he didn't do this before sitting down, but I'm, I'm just the doctor here, okay? I don't know anything other than how to, how to do some things today. I'm still in training. All right, you just get your body in order. You're going to place your arms down to the side, place your legs down just like that, and then I'm going to swipe you in there like a credit card. I, I think that's me. I'm not gonna lie, that looks nothing like me, okay? He's not even wearing gloves, is he? Oh, somebody's asking, wait, do I, am I asking the questions here? Why are you here? I came for job interview. Why do you want this job? What are you offering? What, what is she offering? Helping people is my passion. Can I trust you? I have unique skills. Um, you, you're hired. All right, yeah, sure. Dude, she can do the things that I can't do. All right, where is she? I need help. <laughs> <laughs> She's nowhere to be seen. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna uh, collect this doctor. Um, wait, second. Ch oh, I was not supposed to run into the other guy. I was trying to collect as many patients as possible. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we're gonna need to check on your stomach, sir. All right, we're gonna need to stethoscope your body. We're gonna need to check out your heart. Your heart's a ten out of ten. Let's check out your spleen. How's your spleen looking? Spleen's looking pretty good. Eight out of ten. Let's see your lungs. Your lungs are a ten out of ten. You know, you're a healthy young individual. What about your stomach? Your stomach's a nine out of ten. Look how happy he is. He's like, bro. I'm healthy. Oh, wait. Unique item. Chainsaw. We're gonna do that chainsaw. Just, oh my gosh. My man is, okay, good. I thought we were going to be chopping off limbs like this was some zombie apocalypse. Luckily, that's not the case. All right, we're just lightly chopping off somebody's cast. All right, did I, uh, I missed the top here. We just could chainsaw that. Oh God, okay, okay. All right, that's been chainsawed. We're gonna chainsaw just the bottom part here. We're, we're gonna make sure not to accidentally slice open, open Stephanie here. Stephanie needs to go to church on Sunday, so... 
We're gonna make sure Stephanie's a okay to walk. All right, Stephanie, we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna tap this away. We're, just, we're gonna we're gonna tap it away. Tap away all your inhibitions, and boom! Look at that. Stephanie has been cleared. She can play any sport now, sir. You have Groot growing on your toe, sir. You know I can't turn away people. I really can't. All right, that's not what we do here at the doctor's office. We're just we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix. He has a pink looking toenail. And then I guess we're gonna clear it off. We're just we're gonna scrub it clean. I don't even want to know what this man was doing in order to have that happen. He was probably out playing in le legitimately the sewer underground, like underneath a road where you have to you know pull up that metal circle. He was probably down there and a rogue crocodile bit his toe. We are now a level 18 doctor. That's really all that matters. That that is the headline of today's video. Is Beck Bro Jack is slowly becoming a certified doctor. Okay, we're gonna get rid of all of these foreign creatures. Get out of here. What, dude? What kind of one celled organisms are these? What, is that an amoeba? No, that that's gotta be a virus, right? Get out of here, virus. Nobody wants you. We're gonna get vaccinated. Level 18 complete. What happened? What? Ha oh, I don't look good. I don't look good. What? Um. Um. What? Dude, this lady does not look good, and I'm not entirely sure what I'm administering here. It looks like a tiny baby bottle. Oh God. Oh, this is literally just to grab it. Oh no, I'm trying to flick it. I'm literally just trying to flick it. I. It has a health bar, and I'm trying to flick whatever it is that I'm about to administer. I have no idea, man. What? Uh, tap, 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 tap. Okay, I gotta take off the cap, and then maybe put it in the syringe. There we go. All right, drag that up. Get all that good stuff in there. It, it did not look pink in the bottle, but now it's pink. And then where do I put it? I don't know. I honestly don't know where we put that, but whatever it was, she's healthy now. She's safe. Everybody today is making a full... Everybody today is gonna make a full recovery. I don't like this one. I really don't. What in the Dr. Pimple Popper are these? Oh, they actually are pimples. This dude now has a nipple on his back. Oh, that is gross, man. Oh, but it's like also slightly satisfying. Okay, we did that. And now we're going to heal it so that you don't die. I don't know what I'm putting on his back, but that does not look good. That It, it literally looks like I am gluing his back together. And you're safe. I Awesome. You're good to go. That'll be $12,000 plus tip. Imagine if you tipped your doctors. That would be insane. Oh, dude. Is this a leg? Was I really tasked with shaving somebody's ugly leg? Why is there only hair in this one area, too? Uh... Mm. Okay, what what do I do now? What is this? Am I? Oh, what is happening? What is on this person's leg? Ew, dude. It looks like they have a bunch of holes in their leg. All right, we collected something from their leg, and they paid one hundred fifty dollars for my services. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring that over there to level out whatever that mysterious liquid is. There we go. Balancing it out. We did it. That is all a part of being a doctor. Okay, it's not all about surgeries and saving people. Sometimes you gotta put vials inside other vials and combine random obscure liquids. It's just what happens. All right, this is similar to hole in the wall where I need to get their positioning about the same. Sir, if you could bend your body, that would be fan flipping tastic. Cool. I don't know what that man's going in for, but you know, his legs were in the air and his head was down. Maybe he's got like a broken kneecap. All right, what's happening here? Do I remove this? Oh, we're removing multicolored bandages right now. Okay, we're gonna remove the red one, remove the green one, yellow one, the blue one, and then... The orange one? What's wrong with this person? Oh, we're like dressing them. Oh, dude, I'm not your mom. Why can't you dress yourself? You look like you're at least 27 years old. What happened to this person? Did they get electrocuted? Okay, we're testing them for radioactive frequencies. Oh my, okay, they need to be grounded ASAP. We're, we're gonna use you to hotwire my car. All right, so we combine red to red, black. Oh, that's supposed to be red as well. This dude is powering a lightning bulb. He should probably be in the X-Men camp, honestly. What's happening here? Are we trying to clean the ring? Oh no. No, never mind. We're trying to get both sides of this so that we can slide it off of her finger. All right, so there, there we go. We should just be able to pull up on this. There we go. We're going to twist it just a little bit. Twist it this way, this way. Come on. All right. I'm I'm twisting it. I'm twisting it, man. Oh, gosh, bro. I'm going to break her finger. Come on. Yes. <laughs> She's doing a happy dance. <laughs> Ew, this dude, wait a second. He actually swallowed a coin and we're gonna use a magnet to get it out. I thought only small children do this. I swear, when I was younger, I like swallowed a petty. I don't remember them using a magnet to get it out. I visibly remember having to poop it out. All right, did it work? Ew, ew, no, that was gross. <laughs> I just kicked down the ER door. FBI, Federal Beck Bro Jack Investigation Unit of 
health. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's uh, we're gonna take your temperature. I almost tried to put that inside of your nose. I wonder if that would work actually. I don't know. You definitely you're overheating. It was very easy to tell that you had a temperature. We're gonna make sure that you're good there on the right cheek, left cheek. We're just gonna make sure that you're you're hot and you're not gonna be hot anymore. There you go. You're cured. You probably spend the next seven to eight hours resting. Uh, what are these vitamin bears? Did um did the sickness make you really really dumb too? Like what are you doing, lady? You're gonna need mental help. What what is happening? <laughs> she, <laughs> she had two hands, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why she couldn't just eat the gummy worms. Okay, right here, we have to <laughs> sign our signature. This is what every single doctor learns in doctor school. How to sign so that nobody will ever understand how you sign your signature. I'm also playing solitaire. Okay, we're just gonna sign that for you. There we go. That's, yep, yeah, pretty, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. You, you probably don't even know that my name is Jack. I got a real diploma. I'm a real doctor. Doctor! There's brand new Beck Bro Jack merch. We have shirts, hoodies, plushies, posters, and more available only at BeckBroJack.co. Get your 